In this tutorial we're going to create this spacer and we're going to save this file as well. So first let's go ahead and open up a new file. We want just the ACAD drawing file. We want to get it set up the right way. So first off make sure that you do have your uh, snaps turned on, your grids turned on, you have your 2D model space selected. We're going to go up to format make sure that our units set to two points after the decimal. We're going to change our drawing limits to our default 0, 0, 12, 9. and we're going to change our view to zoom all. Now just because we've been trying different styles and ways to do things, uh, let's go ahead and not worry about where exactly we're going to start this shape. We're going to start in an arbitrary location in the bottom left corner. So we're going to click on line and somewhere down here we're going to click to start where the line is going to be. We're going to use the relative rectangular coordinate entry method and we're going to type in at 6 comma 0 and hit enter and there's a line that's exactly six inches long. We're going to use the relative polar coordinate entry method to type in three, I'm sorry, to type in at three tab. This is giving me trouble. At three tab 90. Now I'll go up three. And then we're going to do the direct distance entry technique. We're not going to go all the way back. We only want to go back to. So I'm going to move it to where it's in line with this. Type in the number 2 and hit enter. And I'm going to make that top slot um, just like your picture shows. and we could close the shape but we actually don't want to so I'm gonna hit escape and that's gonna cancel that and here this vertical line was really just used as a construction line so we had to space out the right distance so we're going to erase that now and there's a couple ways we can do that let's just go with what we talked about yesterday where I come up to where our little pencil eraser is click erase select an object and click enter all right, now we're going to work with arcs. And there are a number of different arcs. We are going to choose the start, center, end arc. And this is where you select the starting point, the center point, and the end of the arc in that order. Okay, remember we talked about how positive angles uh, go from the bottom up, so our starting point has to be at the bottom. Our center point is right in the middle, and our end point is right up here. And that'll make a perfect arc to connect this point. We don't have to specify a radius because of the method that we're using. We're going to do the same method to complete the other side. Now that we have our two arcs, we're going to go ahead and put in two circles to represent holes. So we're going to click on circle. And we're going to specify the center that's going to line up right with where this arc stopped. You can kind of see how it cuts that in half. This is the center point. Uh, we do want diameter. So I'm going to type in the letter D and hit enter. and it's asking me to specify the diameter of the circle which should be 1.25 I'm going to do the same thing on the other side make sure that it knows I want the diameter and actually if you look down here 
it's giving me a default value of 1.25. It knows that's what I had last, so all I have to do is hit enter. I don't have to type anything in this time. This drawing is now complete. We're going to go ahead and save it. So we're coming up to File, Save. You're going to put this in your own CAD Drawings folder. And I'd like for you to name this part Assignment 2. Spacer. Alright. I want to cancel this because I already have that drawing in there. But you can follow it from there.